Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I did want to discuss the current state of the iOS 6 jailbreak, what's the progress on that, and the new upcoming update that is coming to all iOS 6 iDevices. So probably the biggest piece of news is the new iOS 6.0.1 update that will be out in I'm guessing about a week to two. Apple is bringing this update to patch the many bugs people were experiencing on iOS 6. Expect an Apple Maps update as well, but overall I personally have seen a lot of bugs in iOS 6 and I welcome this update. However, for those of you that are wanting to jailbreak on iOS 6, I would stay on iOS 6.0 until I make it clear that it's okay to update to iOS 6.0. And of course the devs will will let us know whether or not the exploits do work on this new firmware, but in the meantime, when the update does roll out, make sure you do not upgrade yet. Real quick, before going over the status of the current iOS 6 jailbreak, I did want to go over with you guys how an untethered jailbreak is made. It involves four steps, a lot of it has to do with luck and just really good skills. So of course, give the dev team a break guys, it's really not as easy as it looks. So the first step is finding a code injection vector, basically a vulnerability or exploit or glitch in the main iOS 6 system that allows you to install unsigned custom code, basically the stuff that Apple does not approve of. And this is the first step, it's usually not the hardest However, the next step is the privilege escalation vulnerability, which allows you to do more in the iOS 6 system that Apple does not approve of. It's basically this step, but a little further in. Basically finding every exploit takes a lot of testing, going through every part of the iOS 6 system, finding a vulnerability or an exploit from which you can install unsigned code. Now the hardest part of making any jailbreak is finding the kernel exploit and patching it so your iPhone allows you to run unsigned code and install Cydia. And basically this is what takes the longest when finding an untethered jailbreak. So I'm really happy that we do have the dev team that does all of this for us absolutely free. Anyways, after that, of course, is finding the untethered vulnerability in iOS 6, which is not the hardest step, but it's also very difficult getting it to work on all iOS 6 devices. So of course, as you guys can understand, the iOS 6 jailbreak does require a lot of testing. And since there's so many iOS 6 devices, the 3GS, the 4, the iPhone 5, the 4S, all the iPods and iPads, it really is a nightmare. So give the dev team a break, guys. And of course, I do stand firm by my release date estimate around or on Christmas day, However, that's not for certain. And lastly, I did just want to show you guys a tweet that Planet Being, one of the developers on the iPhone jailbreaks, basically he tweeted that he did make progress on the iPhone 5 and he's almost at a tethered jailbreak, but he can install tweaks and Cydia apps on his iPhone 5. So that's really good progress. We can see that the iPhone 5 is being well supported on this iOS 6 on tethered jailbreak. Anyways guys, that's just a quick update for you guys on the status of the iOS 6 jailbreak and a warning about the upcoming 6.0.1 firmware. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and favorite. It does help me in return. Leave any comments down below. I will try to get to them and subscribe for many more videos to come. Have a great day guys. Peace.